Alrighty, we're going to be putting uh, an outlet up on here on the ceiling so that they can plug in like a couple shop lights because it'll be much more light than a incandescent lamp or a single screw in bulb. And what we have here is a uh, smart box. It has uh, screws to screw it to the stud so it's nice and solid. Um, here in the country I was born in, we use a 12 American wire gauge on 20 amps, 14 American wire gauge on 15 amps. Black is live, white is neutral, the bare of the green is the brown. Red and blue are also live colors, however you may find white live in a switch loop or a 220-240 volt circuit where the appliance does not require a neutral. So we're going to have to drill a couple holes and get our wire ran up here. My staples fell out of the box here. That is the uh, smart box, and there's the screws that screw it in. They make them for ceiling fans, and they have uh, three screws in it, and more support inside the box. Got to drill back an inch and a quarter so that if they ever hang sheet rock, the screws won't hit the wires. I don't see the off. So this is the wire we're going to put up there. And just These studs here. Now this is closer than an inch and a quarter because we have a beam back here, so a nail plate would have to go here if there were sheet rocking. <laughs> Bye. 
Staple in the middle of the stud so a sheetrock screw doesn't hit the wire when they're sheetrocking. Make sure it's not too tight. Easy, I'll open up my opening to get the wire through here. They have a guide on the side here so that you don't uh, go too low or too high with the box. out a little bit so I can
Take that in there nice and tight. We're going to staple behind our box here. Got to have a staple within a few inches of your box. Alive, our white, which is neutral, and our bare wire is the ground. We'll clean up all our debris here. Make sure our wires are all nice and straight because this is going to be a twist and lock type of a connection rather than putting the wire around the screw. So I'm going to strip all about a half, a quarter, I'm going to say a Small amount off of each one, just under a half, about a half an inch, let's say, like that. Okay, I'm going to hold it up here and make sure it's not stripped too long. So that's a perfect length here. And that is a perfect length. So the black wire will go on this brass colored screw, the white wire will go on the silver colored screw, and the bare ground wire will go on that green screw. You'll see the wider slot here for the neutral, and the narrower slot is the live wire. So we'll take, we'll put our ground wire around the green screw. So we'll make our loop the direction our screw turns. Sure it's nice and tight. We'll close the screw we're not using and put our white under the uh, silver color terminal here. Like that. Make sure we don't get our too much copper showing behind it there. Make sure we don't get the insulation under the uh, pressure plate. Make sure it's nice and tight. The one we're not using is closed. Now we'll bring it around. We'll get our black under the brass colored terminal. Okay, under all the way, we make sure our insulation's not caught under the pressure plate. And we're going to make sure the wire is going under the plate. Okay, it's going under the plate. Tighten it up and make sure the one we're not using is closed. Now let's give our little tug here and make sure our wires are in the holes. And now we'll just make sure all our debris is out of here. Okay. 
So our cover is going to go on this way. So we'll push our wires into our box. Now we're going to keep this ground wire away from everything here because we don't want it to touch anything. Tight, tight, tight. Now we'll get a couple more staples up here. So that is how to run Watt Romex through uh, two by fours and studs here in the country I was born in. We uh, just put an outlet up that is switched to uh, turn on and off like a workshop light. Peace. Thanks for watching. And there's our switch for the light we just put up, the switched outlet. And that's the switch for that outlet right there on the left.